creating a four axis roughing and finishing tool path in Fusion 360 is much easier and efficient. For that, we have an example here. It's a four axis uh, profile part and it is filleted at the corner. So what we are going to start is with roughing. So where you can get from manufacturing workspace under this milling tab, you can able to find three rotary toolpath strategies. One is rotary parallel for finishing, rotary pocket for uh, roughing, and rotary contour also for finishing. First, we will start with roughing. So I already pre-created this. So if you open the toolpath here, select the tool. For selection of tool is much easier in Fusion 360. Either you can access in a local library or from the cloud, actually. So for this milling metric, so automatically selected here. If you want to filter ball nose tools only, you can filter this one. Also, you can able to filter units here actually. So for that, you can able to find the metric tools. You can able to select from here. So I selected at a 10 mm ball nose here. The bottom, uh, the cutting data get automatically filled. If you want, you can change it yourself. So the next one, uh, it, you have to control the ends of the rotary finishing or roughing tool path. So in this case, uh, I controlled the front stock is here and my back stop is here actually. You can able to move and you can able to stop, uh, pick that curve actually, or maybe a surface. In the third tab, you can able to find a stock OD. So stock OD is 35 mm and inner radius is zero. And in the fourth tab, you can specify the tolerance, strip over, and uh, even the direction of cut, and you can able to find the style also. In this case, I selected offset and uh, stock to leave. And uh, here I specified uh, the tool uh, restrictions. So the front end, you can start from outside, but at the back end, I don't want to go beyond the, beyond the selected region actually, boundary as. So that's why I stopped here. And in the last tab, you can specify the rapid distance, entry distance, and uh, even the ramping also. If you calculate the tool path, immediately the tool path will get like this. It's completely roughing using a ball nose. You can see that its profile is very smooth and it is automatically linked that starting and ending of the air moves. The second one, we will move to the contour finishing, which is also can access from here. So if your profile is, uh, if the profile at the bottom is flat, you cannot able to use this because the reason why is, uh, if you look at the tool path here, so the tool path is not generating at the bottom actually. It is a side finishing tool path, okay? But if you want, you can use this for a semi-finishing, uh, the same way tool create the tool stop the front and back end limits and the outer inner radius as usual that uh, step over and step down and the rapid heights so the tool path it looks like this as i told you can use it for a flat uh, sidewall uh, with bottom sidewall sharp patches but here you have a fill complete fillet so for this we have an another tool path so under 3D, you can able to find flow preview. It's a uh, under preview mode. If you open this tool path here, select the same tool. For this, uh, drive the surfaces. So I've selected the surface here and uh, can control that your uh, front end and end, back end. Okay. And uh, you can able to specify the tolerance, step over here and uh, the direction. U and V, so in this case, U is perfect, I believe, and uh, stock to leave, so it's just give uh, 10 micron here, smoothing. And uh, the more important thing is, under tool axis, in power mill, we can able to find towards line for a four axis tool path, actually. So here, we can't able to find a towards line, instead, you can use two curve, actually. Select two curve, create a center line, and select that one actually. 
and you can specify the smooth distance and uh, smoothing angle here and you can able to fill all those things as usual if you want to be learn more you can press this information button here you can able to find detailed information of each parameter so if you create the tool path you can able to see that it is complete the profile in both uh, side and bottom and the flow is also very smooth and you can able to uh, run this finishing tool path to complete all the profile from side to bottom even you can able to uh, create for a fillet separate or you can uh, merge together all this uh, the side while and the fillet together thank you